Hello everyone, Patrick here from Freename. Today we're going to take a look at our latest integration with EDA. It's a new Web3 website builder. So let's get started. Okay, so we start for the beginning. Here I am on Freename's homepage. I'll just navigate to my portfolio right here so that I can choose the domain I want to use for my uh, newly built Web3 website. I'll go here on the mains, uh, let's use padpad.hole, I'll go to manage. As you can see, we have a new section here called Website Builder. I just click on it and here I have a link that will bring me dire directly to the EDA website. And so we go ahead and click try it now. And here we are. The editor opens up, as you can see, I already connected my wallet. So what you find here is a pretty um, self-explanatory and pretty easy to use editor. So I will not go into the depths of how this works. So you can find a way around it. And I'm sure you're going to find some uh, guides also on the EDA website. But for now, it's just uh, it's just a, a regular editor. So we just can edit our title and we can try. This is our first test. Let's do it like this. I can change a font if I want. You can change everything. Uh, I can add a section, add images. So from this point on, um, once you've done modifying and creating your website, we'll go ahead with the next step. Okay, so here I am. I finished up my website with all my uh, TLEs. It's just a simple page, so uh, it depends on what you built. And at this point, we just have to go ahead and complete it uh, by publishing. As you can see, we'll bring you to the EDA checkout page. At this point, you will have to choose whether you need a hosting or if you can host it yourself. In this case, I'm just going to go ahead and buy myself some space. So here we are, the date, the time frame for the publishing, and then I just go ahead and pay with my wallet. At this point, you're going to have a few informations here. So, so as you can see here, you have a few information here, so let me get it through it. The first one is just the confirmation that our website was successfully uploaded and it tells us our EPFS hash, which is uh, this number here. And then right here, you can see you have a domain area where you can type in your domain in order to connect the website you just built to your specific, in this case, free name IO domain. Also, please note that every IPFS record is immutable. That means that every time you need to uh, made some modification or change your website, you will need to create a new uh, IPFS. So what if you want to see and use actually your website, you want to visit your website via your free name domain. Here I have our uh, browser extension, which allows us of course to visit any Web3 domain. I'll just go to browse and type in eternal digital asset of free name, which is the domain I just use. Freename.io. Go. And here we are. It is a quite simple website, but it is just to show you the potential of this editor and show you how easy it is to connect it to a Web3 domain, just like so. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you on our channels as usual. Until the next one.